Welcome back to another Bend the Preview Sports video. <clears throat> Today, we are talking about the trades of the Nashville Predators. We have two trades so far. One of them sees Tanner Janot going to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the other sees Nino Niederreiter going to the Winnipeg Jets. We're going to start out with the one that I think is going to make us the most happy, and that is the Tanner Janot to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Heath has all the details of this thing. Walk us through. Uh, by the way, we have Heath and Cole with us today. Heath, walk us through uh, what the full details of the Tanner Janot to Tampa Bay Lightning trade looks like. Sure. So the Nashville Predators obviously trade Tanner Janot um, to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Nashville Predators acquire Cal Foot from Tampa, a 2023 third round draft pick, a 2023 fourth round draft pick, a 2023 fifth round draft pick, 2024 second round draft pick, and a 2025 first round draft pick from Tampa that is conditional conditions, top 10 protected. Um, obviously Tanner Janot brings with an $800,000 so cap hit, which isn't too big of a deal. I believe he's on the end of his contract, the restricted free agent at the end of this season. Um, otherwise. That's the entire deal for Tanner Janot. Wow. It's a what very a large trade. Like you would have never thought a guy like Tanner Janot would be able to bring that kind of what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Return. Re Tampa yeah, return. Felice. Here's a question. And and this is, is a genuine question that I want to throw out there. If this trade was, I, I think I know my personal answer, but if this trade was Matt Duchesne for that return, how do we feel? I, I feel like it would have been a good return. That's the thing. <laughs> and we gave up Tanner, and I say we, the natural predators gave up Tanner Janot. For this return, are, like, how shocked were you guys when you saw this? Very. And the reason is he had a great rookie season, 24 goals or something like that. He has five goals and nine assists this year for 14 points um, on a contract year. Let's not forget that. So Tampa is getting a player that they can re-sign for really cheap um, unless he just has some spectacular run through through the cup season. Um, but if, if that doesn't happen, I mean, there – and I love Tanner Janot. He was so fun to watch, super physical. Um, so I don't want to take away from any of that. He he was awesome to have on our team. Um, but the way he's played this year uh, has been a little less physical in my eyes. Um, he just hasn't seemed like the same player he was last year. And the return that we got just blew my mind uh, of when I saw it. It, it was insane. It doesn't yeah, make I, sense. Oh, sorry, Heath, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll say, yeah, I agree. I mean, I just, the, I was shocked. I mean, the, I, you wouldn't have told me that you would have been able to get that for Geno. But at the same time, it doesn't shock me. From, no. from being from Tampa, it doesn't shock me. Well, it's weird because if you go look at Tampa's draft pick uh, future, <laughs> the next, yeah, they have no picks. picks. They have two picks in 2023, and it is a six – or they have three, I'm sorry. They have a six and two <laughs> sevenths. Uh, they do not have a first-round pick in the next three years. Um, and they are essentially, out of the next three years, pretty limited on draft picks. Now, would we have that draft future for Tampa's last five years? Absolutely. Yes. You you could take all of my first round picks if Nashville had two Stanley Cups. Yes. Easy. Take 100%. Don't but care. Is Tanner Janot worth a first round pick? Now, I, I really hate that it's top 10 protected because right. 2025 is a year when you could literally see Tampa missing the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fact that Nashville, and Heath, you mentioned this in a text, had Tanner Janot go from undrafted signing yep. two one two three four five draft picks that includes a first a second a third a fourth and a fifth spread throughout the years and the number 14 overall pick in 2017 
on a team that, hey, you know what? We just need players right now in the National Predators roster. You know, <laughs> like this is a this is a great return for a guy like Tanner Janot. Yeah. Uh, I, I am so thrilled with this. <clears throat> the Nito Niederreiter deal, on the other hand, was an interesting one because you would say that Nito Niederreiter for a playoff run is probably more valuable than a uh, a guy like Tanner Janot, except for that Nito Niederreiter has – Two years on this deal, he's getting a little bit older, which you know is an RFA. How did you guys feel about the Nito Niederreiter trade to the Winnipeg Jets? Yeah, and those picks, the Tanner Geno trade and the Nino trade were one or two days apart. And I feel like we had two different general managers that were managing those deals uh, because I, I wasn't too happy, and I don't think any of us were, when we saw the return was just a second round pick in 2024 uh, nonetheless yeah and Niederreiter is like I think he's tied in goals for most goals for Nashville or he might be one behind Phil um but I mean he's one of our top goal scorers mm-hmm. and that that's just a pretty poor trade in my opinion I you know I wasn't too shocked that Nino got moved um I actually kind of was happy for him <laughs> Because he came from Carolina to Nashville and went from a Stanley, possibly a Stanley Cup winning team to Nashville. Um, but with that being said, um, I, I don't think you're going to get more than a second round pick for, like in terms of, I don't think you're going to get a first round pick for Nino Niederreiter, but Nino Niederreiter. Um, but then again, Tanner Janot, look what he brought. So yeah, um, it was kind of shocking. I wasn't too shocked that he got moved but i was also kind of shocked he did um but i understand what they're trying to do i mean i get it with the four man four man cockpit over there now in winnipeg i get what they're trying to do i would have loved to have seen a uh, need rider get at least a first i d- here's the issue is a team like winnipeg was never going to give up a first round pick for for you know a guy like nino need rider when you look at teams that were going to give up that first round pick, it just wasn't going to happen. In like, I don't know, they just weren't going to do it. And and I don't know that many cup contending teams were going to do a first rounder for not for a, a neat. And I, you know, I like Nino, but at his age, you know, how much longer does he have really that, or it, you know, potential years of actually scoring, you know, forty points or something. And the cap points. hit next year as well. Yeah, that's the other thing to think so, about. Is Niederreiter has another year? You know, you're going to have yeah. to deal with four million dollars next year. Yeah, and do you really see him being worth a first round draft pick when you know this guy's coming in at 30 years old on the back half of his career? You know, and not to say he's not good. He's still a solid player. He's just I just don't foresee him being worth to anybody like you're saying a, a Stanley Cup contending team in a first round draft pick. Do you think Tampa would take Nino Niederreiter or Tanner Janot if they could have had their choice of the player without having to pay anything? I would have taken Nino if I was Tampa. For just this taken, year. Yeah, yeah, I would have taken Niederreiter for just this year. Yeah, I, I agree just it. this year. Yeah. Just but this long year, term, I mean, Janot's right. an RFA. They're yeah. going to probably get to lock him up for a bunch of years on a hopefully team-friendly deal for them. It's, it's a good trade all the way around. I think, he'll get a, oh. I think he'll get a Colton Sissons type deal, like a, a two and a half million dollar over six years or whatever, and just be happy. Hey, you're on, you're going to stay on this team and be a pivotal part of it and get paid pretty good. So spot on. All righty. Well, boys, that is it for the Nashville Predators trades as of right now. We will have a few more of these. If Nashville makes a few more trades, I'm sure that they will trade Matias at home the second this podcast is released. Uh, but we will record something else if that is the case. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will see you next time.